Good morning, my homesteaders. It's Jessica from Willowberry Homestead and Co. It is Tuesday, y'all. Okay, it is the 13th of March. I ordered this mess about two weeks ago. Because it was such a big order, it took almost a week and a half to get here. Half of it because my bank wanted to make sure there was no fraud, which I respect and understand. But the other half is UPS's fault for their lack of com customer service and communication. So, FedEx came on Saturday. Love them. And from now on, no matter what it is, I'm going through FedEx, UPS. I'm sorry. With all due respect, you did not handle me well. And I do not. I don't like that. Because when someone spends a lot of money on something, they want to know that their product is one, safe, two, on time, and three, they're not losing anything, any money or anything. So anyway, FedEx is the stuff. They came on time. They came on Saturday, meaning they deliver on the weekends. He was very polite, had a smile on his face, and he made sure I was who I said I was. Now, yesterday, I received my bigger package, which is my bath bombs. Look at this. Three rows of bulk apothecary bath bombs. Even though I'm learning how to make my own, um, theirs come pre-made. And they encourage people who are starting out with no experience whatsoever. Do not practice at home. And just because it looks pretty, you turn around and sell it. And then you get in trouble by customers giving you bad reviews. Saying that when the bath bomb went into the bath water, um, the mica separated because that's what happened with my bath bombs. When I first did my first batch, my mica separated. So when people use food coloring, take heed to that because mica is not your friend depending on which one you use from what company and what type. So I learned a valuable lesson with that. It fizzed up beautifully. However, um, my, my water was very thick and murky. But when it was done fizzing. So I'm still learning. So until I get it down pat, Bulk Apothecary sells these. They are, they say five ounces, but I weighed them myself. They are not. They are 4.7, 4.8 ounces. I still sell them for $6 because of the simple fact that when you get them, they are so potent in the fragrance. It's a beautiful thing. It's not overpowering. <laughs> But it's not so subtle to where you realize that they only gave you a little bit when they could have gave you a little bit more. You know what I mean? It's, it's just perfect. I used one in my tub. I used the um, oatmeal, milk, and honey bath bomb. The fragrance inside of that, though, is like fresh cotton linen. Oh, God. It smells so good. You feel good. Your water's not murky. You don't see anything floating except for, like, the oatmeal. And that's just because it's in there. And it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. So, this is my haul, y'all. They sent me three whole boxes. Two medium-sized ones. One very large one. Before we get into all of these beautiful different ones, I mean, they labeled them all. I know what all of them are. Please excuse my coffee. It has a lid on it, and none of these soaps are processing still. They have been on the shelf for four weeks. If you count the one week that they were shipping it, it has been wrapped up and ready to go for five weeks. I will not be selling this until the end of March, beginning of April. So there go your six weeks of setting. Um, some of these I will be piping, so they will have to sit a little bit longer. Um, they're the summertime soaps. I am not releasing all of these loaves in the spring. The springtime soaps are here. I'm going to send them out as is. I'm just going to package them up really, really pretty to get my name out there. My summertime soaps, I am going to pipe them bad boys so that they have their six weeks to sit with the piping on top so that the piping could cure because it's going to be a cold process pipe. That is where um, Nurture Soaps Piping Kit and Katie from um, Royalty Soaps comes in. I'm going to literally live, eat, sleep, and breathe her videos to learn how to pipe. Um, when I wasn't sure looking on the website of what it would smell like or what kind of um, physical appearance it would bring, um, I ordered one just to be on the safe because I'd hate to order a big one and then it not sell because one, it could be ugly or two, the fragrance isn't okay or right or full. So I went ahead and just, you know, uh, see this? I made this. This is the melt and pour. It's a clear aloe melt and pour. 
over the cubes of three different soaps that had absolutely no fragrance. It's like they forgot the fragrance. Um, it was the cashmere, which had um, sea salt exfoliant in it. It was the sweet pea. There was fragrance, but it wasn't that strong. And that's the dark green. The cashmere is like the orangish color. Oh, no, the cashmere is the light green color. And another thing, the cashmere was very crumbly. So I'm assuming they used way too much salt um, because it just was not holding together. And I don't want to sell that kind of product. Um, you will not come to me for half ask things. You will come to me for top quality. So even though it was pre-made, I loved the look of the loaf and the fragrance that came with it. And if it needed more, I can always add that to the piping that will go on top, which will hit it over the edge. So there will be a piece of me in these soaps. It will not just be um, plagiarism, basically, where you buy the soap and sell it as is and do absolutely nothing else to it. No, I will add myself to it. So I chopped it up because I didn't want it wasted. I chopped it up and I stuck it inside of aloe. And it's one of those brambleberry modes where you flip it over and it says pure on it. Um, it will be sold at a discount rate, of course, but it still will be sold. So I will be able to make a profit, seeing as in how I will sell it for five bucks. And my soaps are 7 bucks, so there's your discount. And, you know, Brambleberry is, um, this came with a kit that I already purchased, so that was free. And these uh, soaps right here, these ones that I cut up, they were only $1.79. Uh, and so, you know, profit. But, anywho, these are my single boys. So I got the tobacco flower. I have the um, apple rose, which is really, really good. And there's real rose buds inside. It's beautiful. Like little rose petals, not buds. Little rose petals for exfoliation and beauty. And it is beautiful. And it smells amazing. And then you have your apple cantaloupe, which smells really good. Atlantis is gorgeous. And it smells just divine. Um, this one is your cool, fresh aloe. It's a lot lighter of a scent. So this would be like a springtime. This is a springtime. So these four are springtimes if you ask me, but it's a very light touch. You can smell it, but not so strong. Your banana orange smoothie, summertime soap. I'm going to pipe the life out of this. I'm going to pipe the top out. I'm going to do drizzle on top. I'm going to do the straw in the corner. I have some stripy straws because they're out right now at the dollar store. So I bought them and I'm going to cut them down to size and stick a stri uh, you know, a stripy straw in there. I'm going to have the part where it's the little bendy part. It's going to be super cute. It's going to look like a smoothie when I'm done. And then you have the coffee, which is the uh, cinnamon latte. Smells divine. I want to take a shower with this so bad. But I'm going to take it to work today and let people smell it so they can pre-order. And then I got to order the loaf. I wish I had trusted my instincts and ordered it. But I figured it would have that strong coffee scent to where people would want that in the fall and winter. Not necessarily the spring and summer. Then I have the mango salsa, which smells great and looks great. It looks like salsa, to be honest with you. You have all of the exfoliation in there. Then you have the tangerine grapefruit, summer. You have a blueberry, but I did buy a full blueberry loaf because I'm in love. It smells great. It looks great. Oh, it just, it's beautiful. And you can sell it in the spring, summer, fall, and the winter. All year round, you can sell the blueberry one. So you can do that with the um, cranberry spice as well, which I also bought a full loaf. I bought two lavender loaves because you can never go wrong with lavender. I absolutely love it. The scent is there. It is present. You know it's there. You don't have to look for it. It's it's beautiful. Yo, bulk apothecary, kudos, bruh. Kudos. Because I'm cleaning up. And I haven't even given them out yet. Like I, like I said, I just got them. And I promised I would do a um, video for you guys. So you have my lavender mint, which I am in love with. However, the um, the lavender, it's there. You can smell it. The mint is there. You can smell it. But in the picture, it had hints of purple stripes inside of it so that you knew the, you know, the lavender was there. So I'm going to go ahead and pipe him purple and put him out in the summer. Cranberry spice is fine. Peach tea, I'm going to pipe it with um, like a... Um, how do you say, a sea, not, not, not a sea foam green, but like a mint green. 
and I'm going to have a uh, green tea exfoliation inside of the piping. And then um, I'm going to make the little round embeds, little circle embeds in a peach color and put that on top. So that's going to be a summer one. And then this is by Mango Delight. It was originally all green, like this one. This beautiful dark green is what it was on the picture when you uh, look at it online. But then when you get it, they always tell you do not, you know, take the, the picture with a grain of salt because it depends on, you know, the person making it. There are artesians in there. And sometimes if it's too solid of a color or if it's too, uh, they will spruce it up. And they did. They spruced it up. I like it better this way. Um, I stamped it, so please excuse that. But look at that. Look at all of the reds and the, and the orange and the green. And then it, none of it is muddled together. Look at that. You can see the definite difference. None of them are muddled together. Look at that. The green and the orange and then that red. And then you got a little bit of the yellow um, from the, you know, the, the natural base color of the soap. That, that creamy color is also in here. I mean, good God. Just look how beautiful that is, you know? I just, I can't, I can't sit here and tell you, you know, making it yourself is the only way. It's not the only way. Some people are not ready. They are not ready to make it themselves, but they are ready to sell soap. They are ready to sell bath bombs. They are ready to uh, add their own touch to something that's already made. Some people are better at enhancing a design versus creating one from scratch. Do not fear that. Um, like I said, I have two lavenders. So now I have one for the guys, one for the girls. I have a, I want to say that this is kefir lime. Yes, this is my kefir lime, you guys. Oh my God. The, the lime that comes off of this bar. Yo, Take a shower in the morning when the sun is coming up through your bathroom window, shining into that shower with you. Get some hot, soapy water from this freaking soap thing and, and just go to town. When I tell you, you will come out feeling fresh, brand new, ready to go, energetic, just wanting to start the day. I can smell it right now, and it's way over there. I'm really far from it, and I can smell it. It is strong but in a great way like god i want to get in the shower with that right now that's what i'm talking about you want your customers to feel like that when they smell that bar you want them to want to go home right then and there and hop in the shower and just use the whole just the whole bar it's amazing you got your mountain air which has a great fragrance to it it's a man's soap i'm not gonna lie i would even use it though as a woman so you know to each its own but i'm gonna tell you right now it's not super strong it's very subtle but it's present it's not overpowering it's one of those relaxing soaps to where when you're in the shower you just want to take your time and just daydream you know it's one of those my monkey farts <laughs> i don't know who came up with this name <laughs> But, um, I can tell you this much. I did purchase it because of the definition or the description. Um, it's strawberries, bananas, oranges, it's, um, lemons, it's, uh, lilac, it's, um, bamboo extract. I mean, there's all kinds of gorgeous nutrients. There is mango butter in there. There is shea butter in there. There is coconut butter in there, cocoa butter. Uh, coconut oil and cocoa butter, excuse me. Um, all of that is in that one bar. Ooh, that is so good for the skin. You know, had they told me they added grapeseed oil, I wouldn't even sell it. It would just be on my personal shelf, okay? Um, Island citrus, another awesome, uh, you know, citrusy smell. Um, if you smell like You smell like oranges, lemons, and limes. You can't go wrong. Oh, and pineapple is in there. Um, you got your bamboo mud. There is no scent. I smelled nothing when I picked this loaf up. Um, but it is full of um, exfoliation. It is full of oatmeal. It is full of uh, clay, uh, kaolin clay. It has, um, it's, it's a part of the African soap. 
Um, there is African soap cut up into it. Um, those of you who know what African soap is, you know how good it is for the skin and for the body and for the cleansing and the detoxing. So um, that's why I bought that one. We spoke about the blueberry. We got the cool citrus basil, which smells divine. I'm even taking one of these to work so that they can smell it. I am taking my Bondi Breeze, which I am, look at this freaking color, you guys. Like, look at that blue. God, like, how do you get a blue that's this concentrated? Like, I'm not understanding, like, how they're doing it, but they are doing it because when you watch the videos on YouTube, they will put the color in the um, oil, mix it up, and they'll have this color. But when they add it to the bucket, with the soap in it, it changes to this color or this color, but you don't get this color. So I don't know what they did, but they did a great job. Um, my Glacial Stream, awesome sauce. Candy cane, eh. You can smell it, but it's not strong, and I expected it to be strong. Spring Rain was really good. My Wakami, or Wakami, Wakami, I don't know. You see it? Oh, so upside down. Hold on. There you go. Wakami. I have no idea what that scent is, but it's not bad. And I love the way the bar looks. Um, your Raspberry Rush is great. And I know this is another raspberry one. I just, or this could be my apple um, mango tango, dude. You got your go. Okay, let me show you that one real quick. Hold on. This right here is your black raspberry vanilla. So it's a vanilla base. With your black raspberry chunks inside. It smells great. I have no complaints about it. Um, I might have to spruce that one up though. Because of how he looks. He looks fine. But he looks very. Eh, you know. And and we shop with our eyes. So if you get a soap that's not. Like this beast. And it looks like this one. They both smell amazing. But who do you think they're going to go for first? This one. Because it's more appealing to the eye. So I'm going to have to spruce him up to make him more appealing to the eye. This is my Gobi Glowed. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I want to put a whole bunch of giraffes and elephants and, and, and uh, you know, lions and tigers and zebras. Just This is just my safari looking, summertime feeling, beautiful. Just, you got Activated charcoal, you have yellows, you got reds, you got greens, you got blues. I don't know. Look at it. How do you do this? How do you do this? This curve here. Like, you know this was a funnel pour. And I think this was in one of those ones where it's like a, the really big ones where you can get like three loaves uh, from one pour. And then you just uh, take it through your, your soap cutter and you just cut the loaves and then you cut... Then you cut the um, singulars. That's the only way I can explain how you can get this gorgeous curve with no interruption. No, um, you know, lines going through it. And you, I mean, it's so gorgeous. I'm going to have to take a picture of this loaf before I break it down into singles. But the Gobi Glow smells so good. Like... Like, I'm about to take a shower with this and then go put on my bell bottoms and go rollerblading at the skating rink. Like, it puts you in that kind of a mood to where you are back in the day and you are about to lather yourself down with cocoa butter as soon as you're done using that soap. You feel me? It's not a bad thing. I mean, back in the day, people's freaking skin was flawless. They took care of themselves. So that's all I'm saying, you know? Yep, my red apple tango. Smells awesome. There is something else in this red apple tango because there are some undernotes that I smelt, um, almost like a, a mango-y um, melon type of undernote, a pineapple type of undernote um, to it. Then you have my hydrangea. I'm in love with this beautiful, beautiful, I have a shirt this color. It is gorgeous. And then you have your purples. And then this one's a Jamaican me crazy. Um... I wish my boyfriend was here because he would absolutely love this. The smell and the, the look and it's just gorgeous. Hey, boo. Miss and love you so much. Okay. So you got orange, 
You got the original color, but I think they added a little bit of um, TD to this to, to lighten up the soap color. And then, um, you know, that cream to give it a lighter creamy color so that it wouldn't contrast with the orange and this, um, it looks like a raspberry red mica color. But I love it. It is a summer soap. I, I'm sorry. Uh, it looks like they made flowers, like they, they like their petals just coming off. It's just so beautiful. And, you know, it is a summer soap. I mean, look-wise, it's a summer soap. Smell-wise, it's a summer soap. Jamaican me crazy. The name is a summer soap. So I might wait until the summer to drop this one just because it's not a springy type of thing for me. Like um, Asian Tea Blossom Spring. Um, spring rain, hello, spring, um, raspberry rush is a spring, cool water, basil, citrus, blueberry, apple cantaloupe, those are all spring, mountain air, these are all spring flavors, or fragrances, I used to bake first, so when I say flavors, I mean the fragrance, <laughs> but, um, yes, my haul, y'all, and then I already showed you my bath bombs in an earlier video, geez, Louise, I have 75 bath bombs y'all like different ones i only bought three of each because i want to see how they go so far people are really into them which makes me very very happy my butt naked soap my mango delight soap i mean i'm ready my first haul my first set and i'm already almost at 300 bucks and it's only been two weeks and i haven't really been selling i haven't put myself out there because technically I work at Home Depot, and it depends on how you do it, but it's considered soliciting if you are trying to promote yourself. So I can't promote myself. However, there's no rules that says you cannot approach a co-worker who actually does things on the outside of the job. So they have to approach me and say, hey, can I donate some money to you for this, this, and that? You feel me? So there are loopholes, and there's ways around it, and yeah... I'm kind of playing with fire, but I'm not. I'm following the rules. Um, seeing as in how HR came and said the same thing. <laughs> and she purchased a Mermaid Kisses soap uh, bath bomb. She purchased one of these, but hers was blue and green. Um, this one is my Madly in Love, and there are rose petals inside. So as it melts in the water or dissipates in the water or fizzes out in the water... You get rose petals that float up. It's so gorge. It is so gorge. This is my big blue. I wish I had ordered six because I want one. <laughs> I only have three. It smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. And this is 22 minutes long and they're gonna make me shorten it. So I'm out.